moment for those listening. A standing ovation. That was really something. We're going to get the Irish Elvis over here. Well, Where did that come from, the Irish Elvis? Who tagged you with that? It wasn't my idea anyway. But you've got it now. Run with it. That's what bandmates do. I, tell, I give them enough hardship when I talk about them over the mic, so every now and again they want to give me a little dig. It's, it's, it, it works. But I'll take it, I'll take it. I'll I was going to say, it works. Yeah. Eye grass. I saw it referred to as eye grass as opposed to blue grass. Is there a differentiation between Irish bluegrass, what you guys are doing, and, and what we would consider American bluegrass? Yeah, so our, the guy that is our agent, a fella called Matt Greenhill, came up with the name Eye Grass, which is obviously Irish bluegrass. So straight up bluegrass, you know, obviously there's so many great bluegrass bands over here. Uh, we grew up playing Irish music, so that's our bread and butter. Uh, so when we tracked back and saw the, you know, the correlation between Irish music and bluegrass music, it all started in Ireland, you know, and the people coming over here years ago settled down with their music, and I think it's a very obvious choice to try and go onto the, you know, the top of that, those two genres mixing, and, and, and I think uh, the reason we throw in the Irish music, I suppose, because that's what we know and that's what we do. Bluegrass is our second genre as such, so... I, to be honest, if we came over here playing straight up bluegrass, we wouldn't get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that that's true. Now, the band, four members of the band, you're three quarters Irish, though, is that correct? Yeah, we do have one outcast in the band. He, uh, he's from Scotland. <laughs> I tell you, you're, you're very lucky he's not doing this interview because we'd need subtitles going across the screen. <laughs> Is this your first visit to the States? We've been over here for the last uh, five, six years touring around. This is our first time in the Grand Ole Opry. I've been to the show a few times uh, just to watch it, but never got to stand in the circle, so. Felt good, didn't oh it? Oh my God. And you're touring now? We're touring now, yeah. We've uh, two more weeks on the road, so. Do you want to plug some dates? Do you even know where you're going from here? I should know. <laughs> <laughs> we're, going, uh, we're going to St. Louis, we're going to Colorado. We're going to Idaho Falls, we're going to Castle Rock, Colorado. I said that, Colorado. Logan, Utah, there you go. There you go. But yeah, we're touring all year, look at them. Um, we spend a lot of time on the road, it keeps us going. It's, uh, it's what we love doing. We loved having you here. Well, thanks very much. And, uh, and, uh, and so did they, it was, that was fun. Come back and see us again. Jig Jam, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thanks a million. The Irish Elvis here. <laughs> thanks a million, enjoy it. That was fun.